CCNI version 7, enterprise networking, security, and automation, ENSI skills assessment. This topology. You can use a 4321 router for R1 and another 4321 router for R2. Two switches. Twenty nine sixty and twenty nine sixty S two and S one two PCs PC dash A and PC dash B. Connect gigabit zero 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 between routers. Gigabit 001 from R1 to S1, as Ethernet 5 on S1. On R2, Gigabit 001 to Fast Ethernet 5 on S2. On Fast Ethernet 6 to PC, from S1 to PCA. On Fast Ethernet 18 from S2 to PCA, to PCB. There are two loopback interfaces. One loopback interface on R1 and another loopback interface on R2. Addressing table R1 two gigabits. Interfaces and a loopback are two, two gigabit interfaces, a loopback, S1 and S2 with VLAN 1 on real app, two routers, Cisco 4221, two switches, 2960, two PCs, console cables, Ethernet cables. Initialize, reload, and configure basic device settings. Initialize and reload routers and switches. Erase a startup configuration and VLANs from the router and switch and reload devices. For example, uh, access to R1, use the console on PCA. Access the console on R1. Go to PCA terminal. Enter. Now enable erase startup dash config. Enter, enter. And then reload. The same process for R2. From console on PCB to console on R2 router, access PCB, terminal. Okay, now enable, erase, uh, startup dash config, sorry, config, enter, enter. Then reload. Enter, enter. Access the console from PCA. Access the console of S1. Console. Access PCA. Close terminal. Open terminal again. Enter. Enable. Erase. Startup. Dash config. Enter, enter. Delete. VLAN database, the let VLAN dot that dot that enter 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 then reload 
from, from PCB access switch S2. Access PCB close terminal open again. Enter enable erase uh, startup dash config enter enter the lab dash space vlan that that enter 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 then reload that's it for devices configure routers r1 and r2 remember r1 and r2 from pca console of r1 close this open the terminal okay no enable configure terminal disable dns lookup now ip the main lookup router name host name this is r1 case sensitive the main name ccnalab.com ip the main name ccna-lab.com Encrypted privilege exit password enable secret Cisco M pass console access password line console zero password Cisco com pass login to enable the password exit Set the minimum length for passwords, 10 characters. Security passwords, min length, 10. Create an administrative user in the local database. Username, admin, password, admin, one pass. Username, admin, secret password, admin, one pass. So logging on BTY lines you see in the local database. Line BTY 0 to 4 or 0 to 4 or if you want 0 to 15. Uh, logging local to, to authenticate with the local username and password. Set BTY lines to accept SSH connections only. Transport input SSH. Encrypt clear text passwords. This is on global configuration mode. Exit from line. Service password encryption. Dash encryption. Configure message of the day banner. Banner message of the day. Unauthorized access is prohibited enter okay banner space message of the day enter configure interface gigabit 001 description ip before address activate the interface gigabit 00 description ip address activate the interface go to addressing table on, on r1 configure this all this okay. interface you can be zero 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 IP uh, uh, description gigabit gigabit zero 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 is connected to R2 so the description can be connection to R2 IP address 1067.254.2 subnet mask 252 we'll shut down gigabit 01 gigabit 01 is this connection to S1 can be any description but I'm using this connection to S1 IP address uh, Private IP 192.168.11, subnet mask to, uh, 24, no shutdown. 
And don't forget the loopback interface. Interface loopback zero and and the description. For example, network network ten. IP address ten dot fifty two zero one. 10.5201 submit mass 248. It's not necessary to apply the no shutdown command on loopback interface. And okay, configure interface loopback zero. Already configured loopback zero and generate RSI crypto key 1024 bits and exit should be configured on global configuration mode. Crypto key generate RSI modulus 1024. Okay. This will work on real device. On Pocket Tracer, only use Crypto Key Generate RSI. Modulus 1024. And very good. Now, don't forget to make the same configurations, but for R2. Okay, all this. Connect from PCB, connect the console of R2. Close this, open again the terminal. Enter no enable configure terminal. No, no IP domain lookup. Hostname R2. IP domain name ccna-lab.com Enable secret Cisco MPAS Line console 0 Password Cisco Compass Login Exit Security Passwords Ming left ten username admin secret password admin one pass line bty zero to fifteen enter logging local transport input SSH Exit service password dash encryption banner space message of the day when authorized access is prohibited. Continue with this. Go to addressing table, this interface, you can be 0, 0, 0, description, you can be 0, 0, 0 is the connection to R1. Connect, connection to R1, IP address. 1067.254.1 subnet mass 252 enter no shutdown gigabit 0, 0, 001 description connection to S2 the another side IP address Ten sixty seven one one 
255, 255, 255, 0. Now shut down. Loopback. Loopback. Interface. Loopback, 0. Description. This can be network two of nine. IP address two of nine one sixty five two of one that one. Subnet mass two twenty four. Very good. And on R2, generate RSA crypto key. Exit. Crypto key ge generate RSA modulus 1024. Okay. Pocket Tracer does not support this command, only, only supported on real devices. Only use this on Pocket Tracer. RSA enter modulus 1024. Enter, very good. Now, configure S1 and S2. Okay. Connect the console of PCA to console of S1. Close this, open again. Okay. Okay, enter, enable, configure terminal. Disable DNS lookup, no IP domain lookup. Switch name, host name as one. The main name ccna-lab.com. IP the main name ccna-lab.com. Encrypted privilege access password Cisco and pass. Enable secret Cisco and pass. Console access password Cisco compass. Line console. Zero password Cisco compass. Login, don't forget that. Exit. Shut down all unused interfaces. Verify what interfaces are in use. Five and six on S1. Interface range. Fast Ethernet from one to four, comma. Zero. 7 to 24 and gigabit 1, 0, 1 and 0, 2. Shut down. Very good. Create administrative user in local database. Username admin, password admin, one pass. On global configuration mode, exit from interface and username admin, secret password admin, one pass. Set login to BTY lines on the local database. Line BTY 0 to 15. Login local. BTY lines accept SSH connections only. Transport input SSH. Encrypt the clear text password exit. Service password dash encryption. Configure a message of the day banner. Banner message of the day. Unauthorized access is prohibited. Generate RSA crypto key. 1024 bits. Crypto key generate RSA modulus 1024. This is not supported on Pocket Tracer, only on real devices. So, in Pocket Tracer, use this crypto key generate RSA, enter modulus 1024. Configure management interface SVI, switch virtual interface for VLAN 1. Set the IP address. Uh, and the default gateway. Go to addressing table and configure this this line. Interface VLAN one. Description. 
management and the IP address when I do 160, 160A1.2. So net mass 24, not shut down. Exit IP in default gateway when I do 160A11. Mm, very good. Same configurations for S2. Connect from PCB to console of S2. Close this, open again the terminal. Enter, enable configure terminal. No IP domain lookup. Hostname S2. IP domain name ccna-lab.com Enable secret Cisco and pass Line console zero password Cisco compass Login, don't forget that. Exit. Okay. Shut down all unused interfaces. Verify what interfaces are in use 5 and 18. 5 and 18. Interface range for certain 1 to 4, comma. For certain at uh, 6 to 17, comma. For certain at 19 to 24, comma, gigabit 0, 01 and 02. Okay, 1 to 4, 5 in use, 6 and 17, 18 in use, 19 to 24, and gigabit 0, 01 and 02. Enter. Shut down. Very good. G Exit from interface and uh, in global configuration mode, username, admin, secret, password, admin, one pass. Line BTY 0 to 15. Login local. Transport input SSH. Exit service password dash encryption banner space message of the day unauthorized access is prohibited enter crypto key gen Generate RSA modulus 1024. Okay, use only RSA 1024. Go to the resin table and configure this line. Interface, VLAN 1. Description. Management IP address 10, 7, 67, 1.2, subnet mask 24, not shut down, exit uh, IP default gateway 10, 7, 67, 1.1. Very good. Uh, Configure single layer OSPF2. Okay, on R1 and R2. So from PCA access console of R1. Close terminal, open again. Okay. Enter password Cisco com pass. Enable Cisco and pass. 
configure terminal. Okay, on R1, OSPF process one, router OSPF one, enter. Configure router ID 0001 for R1. Router dash ID 0001, enter. Network statements, configure a network statement for each locally attached network using a wildcard mask that matches each network's subnet mask. Okay, and show the directly connected networks to show IP root connected. Now you can see your three directly connected networks, two gigabit interfaces and a loopback, notify all. Network 1052.00. The wildcard for 29 is 7. And place on area 0 because it says single area. And when you configure single area, you configure uh, area 0. Network 67. 254 and the white card for 30 is 3. Okay, this is the network between R1 and R2. Area 0. Enter. And network when I 2168.10, white card for 24 is 255, area 0. Very good. Uh, well, same configuration on R2. The same process. Uh, go to console, PCB, close terminal, open again, OK. Enter Cisco Compass, enable Cisco and pass, configure terminal, router SPF1 router dash id 0, 0, 0, 002 for r2 show the directly connected networks do show ip root connected and look at this r2 loopback zero network should not be included into the ospf process okay loopback zero two subnet should not be included. So only notify these two. Okay, that's why uh, loopback zero on R2 is uh, simulating internet. Will not be included on OSPF. Okay, notify these two networks. Network 10.67.1.0. Wildcard for 24 is this, area 0. Okay, in the another network, 10, 67, 254. The wildcard for 30 is 3, area 0. Enter. And you will see a net network adjacency. This is the router ID of R1, and now is the OSPF network. Very good. Optimize single area OSPF version 2. On R1, go to R1 on PCI and enter. Configure passive interfaces. Configure all interfaces that are not directly connected to an OSPF network to be passive. Okay. Um, verify you are on router configuration mode. 
uh, when you enter this command router or SPF, you enter to router configuration mode, but C dash interface. On R1, this should be gigabit 001, should be passive interface because uh, it uh, does not have a router as a network. Okay. Gigabit 001. And also, the loopback interface is passive. Loopback zero. Very good. Configure the reference bandwidth. Adjust the reference bandwidth to one gigabit. Auto dash cost reference bandwidth. And 1000 megabits that is equal to one gigabit. Okay, enter. Okay, it's auto cost. Okay, very good. Auto cost reference bandwidth 1000 megabits that is equal to one gigabit. Please ensure reference bandwidth is consistent across all routers. Okay, later you will configure this to R1. Configure loopback zero as point to point network for OSPF. Configure loopback zero to report the mask it is configured with instead of a host mask. Okay, exit from router configuration mode, enter to interface loopback zero. Uh, IP or SPF network point to point enter. Okay, it's OSPF, OSPF. Very good. Exit from loopback interface and now timers for your network. Configure the hello time for 30 seconds. Okay, and it's not necessary to apply a uh, hello timer on all interfaces on R1, only necessary on gigabit 000, because this interface has a router as OSPF network. So configure only on gigabit 000. Only here is necessary, okay? Interface gigabit zero 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 IP or SPF hello dash interval thirty seconds enter now configure R two PCB passive interfaces Okay, uh, verify you are on router configuration mode. If not, enter with router or SPF1. Passive dash interface. Is uh, gigabit 001 because on this side does not have a router, a snake board, and loopback zero. Okay. Uh, Sorry, enter uh, router configuration mode, passive interface, gigabit zero, zero, one. Okay, this interface, gigabit zero, zero, one, and loopback zero. Very good. Configure reference bandwidth, one gigabit auto dash cost, reference dash bandwidth 1000 megabits 1 giga very good don't worry about this message 
provide default routing for the OSPF domain. Configure a static default route with loopback 0 as the exit interface. Then share the default information with other OSPF speakers. First, configure a static default route with loopback 0 as the exit interface. Exit from router configuration mode, exit on global configuration mode, IP root, default root, what zero? Loopback zero is the exit interface. Loopback zero. Don't worry about this message. Now, share the default information with other OSPF speakers. Enter to process router OSPF process one. The fault information space originate. Enter. Very good. Timers for your network. Hello time for 30 seconds. Exit from router configuration mode and only configure on R2 on gigabit 000 because it has a, a OSPF neighbor. It has a router as a neighbor. Okay, only necessary on gigabit 000. Interface gigabit 000. IP OSPF. Hello dash interval 30. Enter. The designated router and backup, backup designated router election to favor R2. Set the OSPF priority for R2 to value of 50. Okay, on, also on this interface gigabit 00, zero that is connected to another OSPF router, enter uh, on the same interface, interface gigabit 00, zero on interface configuration mode, IP OSPF priority 50. Very good. Then exit. Configure access control NAT network address translation and perform configuration backup. Configure host computers, PCI and PCB IP before addresses. Okay, for PCI. Use this IP subnet mask and default gateway. PCA, close the terminal, IP configuration. When I do 168.1.50.24, PCB. For PCB, IP subnet mask and default gateway. 10, 67, 150, subnet mask 24, default gateway 10, 67, 1, 1. Okay, close this. After configuring each host computer, perform the following test. From PCA, target, destination, PCB, ping should be success. Okay, from PCA, go to command prompt, ping IP address of PCB, 1067150. Enter. Success. From PCA, access the HTTP secure on 209.165.201.1 using a web browser protocol HTTPS. But what IP address is this? 209.165.201.1. 
is this, the loopback zero interface of R2. The loopback zero interface of R2. Okay, so the source is PCA and the destination is loopback zero on R2, but using HTTPS. Okay, and go to PCA and uh, close command prompt, open web browser, HTTPS column slash slash, don't forget S for security, 209.165.201.1. Okay, go. Server reset connection. Pocket Tracer does not support the web server on routers, neither on switches. So that's why it says server reset connection. But that means that it's trying to connect with HTTPS and it's working very well. On a real device, on a real app, this will show the web page of the web server on R2. But if this message is request timeout, you are not configuring very well the previous steps. But server reset connection is a good message for packet tracer. And consider this success. Okay. From PCA now to the same address access with SSH protocol. Close uh, web browser, command prompt. There are two methods to access SSH. I will use the first SSH option L. Uh, remember the username configured on the device previously on R1 and R2. The username is admin and password admin one pass. And remember that. The username is admin and the IP address 209.165.201.1. This IP address. Enter. Password admin one pass. Very good. Exit. Close this. The another way to access SSH is using this client. SSH client protocol SSH IP address two of one 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 sixty five. Sorry, uh, two of nine one sixty five two of one and one. Username admin connect password admin one pass. Very good. Exit. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, you can ping the this IP address two on nine one sixty five two on one one. Okay, just uh, ping. Enter uh, success uh, is an additional test. And now from PCB access SSH to loopback zero on R2. Loopback zero on R2 from PCB. From PCB command prompt SSH option L admin and the IP address 209.165.201.1. Password admin one pass. Very good. Exit. Ping the that IP address as an additional test. Success. And also from PCP, you can ping PCA IP address 192.168.1.50. Ping 192.168.1.50. Success. Very good. If you get different results, troubleshoot your OSPF and host configurations. If you are unable to access to one 165 via HTTPS, enter IP HTTP secure server at R2 command line interface. Okay, this 
Okay, for example, from PCB go to terminal of R2. On terminal, okay. Enter Cisco Compass, uh, enable Cisco M Pass R2, global configuration mode, configure terminal, and try to enter this command uh, IP HTTP secure dash server. And it's not supported by Packet Tracer. This is a very good uh, entry, but it's not supported by, by Packet Tracer. So that's why I'm saying that. The web server on R2 will not work on Packet Tracer. Configure access control on R2. Create and apply an access control list on R2. Name it R2 security case sensitive. Create an access control list to configure on R2. Access PCB to the console. Okay, this access list has a source and destination and obviously a, a protocol, a TCP protocol. So that's why it's extended, not standard. And create an extended access list on R2. IP access list extended. And the name, case sensitive, R, R2 security. Enter. Only hosts for 10.0.0 network are allowed to reach the web server uh, 209.165.201.1. The destination is the server on R2 on loopback 0. And only permit hosts on 10 network. When size hosts, is trying to say uh, host like, for example, PCB hosts uh, and devices like PCB. And you can uh, configure this like only host from PCB network are allowed to reach the web server 209.165.201.1. Only allow hosts from this network, the network of PCB, this network. The network, the subnet of gigabit 001 on R2. Okay, and, and only permit this and deny all any other, uh, any other source. Okay, and permit this, deny this, uh, and deny any other uh, networks. Okay, on R2, configure the following. Deny, the protocol is TCP, the source, any source, and the destination is a host. The destination host is 2 of 9, 165, and is equal to the web port is 80 with 80 is a non-secure port okay only use https for security and use uh, the port for https 443 enter very good the source is any because I will apply the access list on gigabit 000 to deny all traffic originating from this section. That's why I'm using the deny and that's why I'm using any source because I will place on gigabit 000 on R2 incoming traffic. Deny all this. Control SSH traffic. SSH is not allowed to the others 209.165.201.1. Okay, deny TCP. Here is not specifying the source, so it's any, any source not allowed 
to the host, the same host 209.165, 201, using port of SSH, port 22. Enter. Permit traffic, all other traffic, regardless of protocol, is allowed. Permit IP from any to any. All protocols when you use the IP keyword. Enter. Filter, uh, apply the access list. Filter traffic originating from R1. Okay, that's why I'm using the, I will place the access list on gigabit 000 on R2 because the filter should be originating from R1. If it's originating from R1, the access list should be applied on gigabit 00 on R2. Okay, exit from access list interface gigabit 000. IP access group. The name of the access list, case entity, R2 security. And uh, if this is the source and uh, loopback series, the destination, incoming traffic to gigabit 00, incoming. Incoming traffic. Enter. Okay, now, uh, after configuring and applying the access list, perform the following test. From PCA, PCB, ping, success. Okay, access PCA, command prompt. Ping PCB, the IP address of PCB is 10.17.150. Go to PCA, ping to 10, 17, 150. Success. PCA, HTTP as to loopback uh, loop 0 on R2, 209.165.2.1.1. HTTPS protocol should fail. Expect, expected result failure. Should fail. From PCA web browser HTTPS column slash slash 209.165.2.1.1. Okay, HTTPS now the HTTPS column slash slash 209.165.2.1.1. Go may take a while, should fail, request timeout. That means you are not be able to access. I'm very good. PCA SSH to the same destination and should failure. And should fail. Come on from. Okay. SSH L admin to an IOS to R11. Enter. It's trying to connect. Connection timeout. Remote host not responding. Okay. Very good failure. Expect the result failure. Very good. And from PCB, we'll be able to access with SSH. PCB. SSH, option L, admin 209.165.2.1.1. Enter password, admin one pass. Very good. R2. Exit. And as an additional test from PCB, try to access the web browser um, loopback zero interface on R2 using HTTPS, HTTPS column slash slash, HTTPS column slash slash 209.165.2.1.1. Go. Server reset connection. That means, uh, is working very well. Okay, packet tracer does not support the server on R2, but this message says that you are connecting, you are connecting very well.
configure NAT. The decision has been made that the entire organization should be using addresses in the 10.0.0.0a network space. r ones LAN is out of compliance. There are applications and services running in the R1 LAN that cannot have their IP address changed without the entire system being rebuilt. So NAT is in order. Here are the configuration tasks at R1. Okay, on R1, PCA. Close common prompt, open terminal, okay. Enter Cisco compass, enable Cisco and pass. Configure terminal on R1. Remove 182.168.1024 from OSPF. Remove the appropriate network statement at R1. Okay. Uh, exit from global configuration mode and show running config. On router OSPF process one, you configure this network. 182.168.1024. Remove this. Configure terminal router OSPF process one. No network. 182.168.1024. Wildcard is this. Area zero. Enter. Now create an access list to identify hosts allow it to be translated. Create an access list that matches the 182.168.1.0 network. Okay, exit from router configuration mode. On global, config on global configuration mode, create an access list. Okay, you can use a standard access list or extended access list. Any of, any of those uh, will work very well, but I will use the standard access list for simplicity. Access list. For example, number one, permit, permit the access list one eight uh, the network one eight two one sixty eight one zero, but use wildcard. Don't forget that twenty four uses this wildcard. Enter. Very good. Configure port address translation. Okay, port address translation. Uh, means to use uh, overload because it's not network address translation, it's port address translation. So you will use overload. Configure NAT association between access list and the interface gigabit 000. Okay. Uh, outside interface of R1. The outside interface on R1 for the this network for the network of PCA is gigabit 0000. Okay, this is the network 192.168.1024. And for this network, the exit interface is gigabit 000. And NAT will be configured here. NAT. Here on this interface. Okay, great. And um, IP NAT inside source list. The list is the list number one. And associate with the interface, the exit interface, gigabit 000. Good, 000. But remember for port address translation, Port address translation uses use overload. Don't forget that. Overload. Enter. Very good. Identify the interfaces involved in NAT. Specify inside or outside on the appropriate interfaces. Okay, uh, like I said, 
uh, here gigabit 000 is the outside interface interface gigabit 000 IP NAT outside and gigabit 001 the inside interface because you will translate this network interface gigabit 001 IP NAT inside Okay, do not configure loopback, it's not included on NAT. Okay, you can make a test, uh, for example, um, from PCA ping to PCB. Close the console on R1, command prompt. Remember the IP address of PCB is 10.67.1.50. Uh, okay, this IP 10.67.1.50. Enter. Success. Go to PCA. Go to PCA and close this terminal on access the console on R1 and show IP NAT translations. You will see the, the NAT. The inside local, the IP address of PCA, 192.168.150. The inside global, the IP address of interface gigabit, uh, Gigabit 000 on R1 is this IP address. Okay, when you configure the NAT, this is the port. And the outside global, on both cases, outside local and outside global, the destination IP, IP address of PCB. Okay, also from PCA, ping uh, loopback 0 on on R2, this from PCA ping to loopback 0 on R2, 209.165.204.1, success. And on command prompt um, console of R1 on terminal, repeat, show IP NAT translations, inside local, IP address of PCA, inside global, IP address of gigabit 00 on R1, and outside local and outside global, the IP address of loopback zero on R2. Very good. And finally, using the TFTP server on PCB, back up the running configuration of all of your devices to PCB using the TFTP protocol. Okay, uh, enable the, the TFTP server on PCB. Okay, uh, but use a server like this, server, um, connect this to the new PCB that will be the server. Okay. This should be uh, PCB uh, dash B dash configure the IP address the same value for PCB on desktop. So net mask 24, 255, 255, 255, 0. Default gateway 107, 67, 11. Very good. OK. Remember, server is connected to Fast Ethernet 18 on S2 switch. Back up the running configuration of all of your devices. Okay, for example, from R1, um, privilege exit mode, copy from running configuration. Okay, from running config to TFTP server. Enter. Address of the remote host 
the IP address of the remote host, the TFTP server, is this 1067.150. 1067.150. Enter. Destination file, you can use this R1 config by default. Enter. And very good. Now from S1, console. From PCA, close this. Open terminal. Enter. Cisco compass enabled. Cisco and pass. Copy running config to TFTP. Okay, ten six sixty seven one five ten sixty seven one five one fifty. Enter. Use this name by default. Enter. Okay, uh, wait a moment. Okay, error, try again. Uh, first ping to the server, ping 1067.150. Okay, success. And then copy running config to TFTP. 1067.150. Use this name, enter. Okay, this transfer using TFTP protocol is failing from switch to the TFTP server. On Pocket Tracer is failing, but on real app will work very well. Uh, because if you are able to ping the, the server from, from S1, also, you will be able to transfer files using TFTP. But Packet Tracer is not supporting that. Okay, so I think uh, the not configured on Packet Tracer here is not permitting the pass of S1 using TFTP protocol. On a real network, using real devices will work very well. But on Packet Tracer, uh, the NAT is permitting pass S1 to PCB server, PCB TFTP server, but it's not permitting to pass from PCB server to S1. But on real devices will work very well. Okay, now go to R2. Uh, terminal, the common, uh, the console from R2, Cisco compass, enable Cisco and pass, copy running config to TFTP server. 1067.150, the file name, enter. Very good. Okay. And go to console of S2, PCB. Close this, open again. Enter, Cisco. Cisco compass, okay. Cisco compass enable Cisco and pass copy running config to TFTP server. Then sixty seven one fifty. Use this name by default. Enter. Very good. Now on the server review mm, services, T 
TFTP, you will see the running configurations of your devices. Also here should be included S1 config. Thank you very much.